If you're looking to improve your aim, then make sure to check out Control Freak and use the code OGXRAYS to get 10% off all the products. Link in the description below. Yo guys, what's up at X-Rays and welcome back to another video. We're taking a look at Inside Firebase Z. It looks like they're going a little more in depth into the new map that is coming out this Thursday. Uh, it looks like it's actually coming out at around 2 a.m. Uh, Central Standard Time. So I'll keep you guys updated on that, but I'm excited. All right guys, so before we jump into it though, if you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like. If you guys are new, make sure to subscribe with notifications on. And if you guys want to support the channel, then check out my sponsors, Control Freak, Scuff. I use them every day when I'm playing. Code OG X-Rays gets you a discount link down below to them or through my Amazon influencer page. If you guys want to support me simply by shopping on Amazon link down below, let's go ahead and jump into it. Oh, right. I should probably allow myself to hear some audio. <laughs> so I guess these are kind of shots on the outside of the map, which actually looks pretty dope. Look at this. All that green is the map that really lets us explore the character of Samantha Maxis to an extent that we never, ever have before. Okay, Dude, Samantha was really introducing people to the Dark Ether storyline, which, you know, as I've said in the past, only exists because of everything that had gone before, but it now has just a, a reminder that these guys are a lot of them are working from home which is crazy and they're still working on the game releasing content that it's set in vietnam in this all new experience we've broken the map up into two locations firebase which is the facility where scientists and soldiers okay. do experiments and mine the dark ether and then we have the village that's where the scientists sleep and do all their research okay My team's reached the village. two locations baby the way you play in D Machina might not necessarily translate over to Firebase C. Below and level design of Outpost 25 calls back a little bit to Moon in that you start in the village and then take a teleporter over to the outpost itself. Oh, damn. Okay. At the outpost, so that's what the teleporter was for. It's not just going around the map, but you need it to get to Firebase Z. Path they want to go to, they can run around the outside of the map itself and the outer head. You know, working on a zombies map <laughs> we got is a gameplay very going. interesting experience. I've been working on zombies maps since Call of Duty World of War. A lot of the way we do the sound design for these maps is still kind of rooted in how we did it back then. It's very seat of your pants, wild and crazy. Let's try and make this stuff sound really cool, scary, creepy. <laughs> Nothing's off the table when it comes to this map is like giving me the world that they inhabit. Uh, got out Krovi vibes man like the inside the internal design of so, it so outpost 25 is an omega outpost and they're doing a lot of uh, science experiments there's a lot of different little things and mechanics that you can interact with It'll this this map design looks so much map. like it just looks way different from just like flat what we've seen so far even I'm with like uh, to uh Die Machina, they had a uh, pretty open outside area and like we just would go like down a tunnel, down into some more tunnels. This one looks like it has a lot more variety in the rooms so and stuff. You, you still have to move around. So it also Our has like Shino Numa vibes. Start to become key at the higher rounds, especially in the assault rounds, because it's just excellent crowd control on top of just being super epic <laughs> standing at an elevated position kind of looking down at the defense lines while these artillery strikes are just just barring the play space it's i was kind of skeptical of having score streaks and, and kill streaks in the game but i don't know kind of digging them lots of different ideas God, damn son about. and then the uh, this boss can actually hide it like prop hunt you can just pretend to be different objects around the map which is scary as hell let's see items and as you approach them <laughs> that's pretty good uh, i love that suck you in yo have some fun you. with it bro Basically, if you see something sitting around and wonder why nobody picked it up it, why is that awesome item still sitting there it's probably a mimic <laughs> the RAI K84. I thought this was the slick will fire. Like to call it the Ray K. Uh, Ray it's based K. Based on an old Russian prototype on a weapon that never saw the light of day. It's built using parts from an AK-74, married with experimental technology. Contact will help I thought it was a slick will fire in the trailer, but it wasn't. Are you there? I missed the slick will fire. There is little time to waste. When we started this, wow, there's story, actual dudes was, just like chilling on the map protected. in some ways because you know, uh, a lot of us have been working on zombies since the beginning, and that's where the excitement, particularly with this fresh start and the dark ether story, has been kind of reinvigorating for the team. 
I don't think I've ever felt as excited Yo, about okay. post-launch seasons of content as I do this year. This, this thing has got so much going on. Rush and Mangler, they got a, a freaking boss that go, pretends to be objects. They got teleportation like the moon where you need to get from one location to the other. Oh my god. I'm so freaking pumped for this. Is this it? Wow. When I saw that it was four minutes, I'm like, this is going to be like an interesting... It just flew by. So we're going to go ahead and... Explore the... going to go ahead and mute this and just kind of take a look at the different aesthetics of the map. We saw this, obviously, in the trailer. So, Samantha, sneaking in. Uh, show me some gameplay, bro. Show me some gameplay. Okay, also from the trailer. Breacher coming out. Okay, so this is kind of the uh, village area that we're talking about. This one right here, the village. And then from there, you make way your way over to Firebase Z. We already saw this kind of in the trailer. I want to see actual. There we go. There we go. Like, look at this. This reminds me of Moon right here. This area right here kind of. I don't know. I just like the, the layout that I'm seeing so far. It's like not very like typical. Like when we get to this area here, well, you guys are going to see what I'm talking about. But I, I like it. It's just like, it's like a mashup of so many different... That reminds me of Gorod Krovi, and at the same time, it reminds me of, of uh, Moon. Uh, let's see. All these, just these little devices that are going off. They're just, it's going to add so much to the atmosphere. It's going to be crazy. Uh, let's see. Go a little bit more forward here. This is the area I was talking about where it's just like two little hoops going down into a tube down there. Oh, man. We got obviously buildables uh, back as well. I kind of miss the uh, the old buildable system, but you know you got to change. You got to try new stuff. Uh, obviously, they got the score streaks and stuff that they were talking about. That looks like it's a lot of fun uh, to work with teammates and communicate and stuff like that. Uh, and it also looks pretty dope from just like the ground. So I don't know, man. I'm actually the more I see, the more I get excited with this, man. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching my reaction to this kind of inside Firebase Z. We got gameplay now, uh, and it's. I don't know. I like the aesthetics. The aesthetics remind me of uh, just like a whole bunch of other maps. Ascension, uh, Moon, uh, Gorad Krovi. There's just, there's a lot that I'm just like looking at. I'm like, yo, this is nostalgic. And at the same time, new. It's just so weird. Uh, but yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching the video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. Also, I did notice it looks like that Wonder Weapon, the Ray K, as they're calling it, uh, it looks like it has two different modes, one where it's like full auto, and then the other one where it just kind of shoots like one little dot and spreads out. So it looks like you'll be able to use it not just as a weapon, like say a ray gun or the ray gun mark two, but an actual one that has some variety to it. If you want to shoot it once to do something uh, where it does that little kind of weaker drop down or straight up shots. Uh, so did notice that maybe I'm going crazy, but like I said, guys, if you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like. If you guys are new, make sure to subscribe with notifications on. If you guys want to support the channel directly, you guys can do so by checking out my sponsors, Control Freak and Scuff. I use them every day when I'm playing. Code OGX gets you a discount. Link down below to them. Or you guys can actually check out my Amazon influencer page if you guys would much rather do it that way. And if you guys want to interact with me live or see what I'm up to, Twitter at OGX is linked down below if you guys want to interact with me, talk or anything, or through my uh, Twitch, twitch.tv slash the OGX You guys have an awesome day. I'll see you guys next time. I'm out. Peace.